Howdy. Okay, I want to try and uh, get this line fixed. Hello, everybody. We are live. I'm the mailman. We are mail. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're all having a good day, evening, morning, or night, wherever, whenever the world you are. I might sound tired. This is the second stream of the night. It is also uh, nearly 2 a.m. for me. That's okay. I promise I wanted to stream more, and I'm streaming more. We are going to do Full Any Vegas in a second. Uh, my issue is there's a weird line, and I don't get it. I don't get what this weird line is. I've never seen a weird line here on this screen before. So, um, I don't get it. Why is there a weird line there? I don't get it. 504 gateway timeout. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's not emotes. Oh, it's the video redeems. Ah, okay, properties. And then can we go a refresh cache of current page? The, the video redeems have stopped working. So let me do one for free. So the John Cena dance. If I were to do the John Cena dance. The John Cena dance isn't working. Oh. That's weird. Why is it not working? Let me quickly go see if I can like retry the link maybe. Um, This is very odd. I was not expecting an error like this. I'll be honest. That's okay. We can We can get it fixed relatively easy i would think so i've had this issue before where basically just um 
I had to reset the cache and then it worked, but but I'm not getting that. That's not working now, so I don't know. Da -da -da. <laughs> um, play music while I'm doing this, goddammit. There we go. I'm very, very confused. I don't know why the video routines would stop working. Like, hmm. Ooh, okay, I can't even connect to the website. Okay, I'm thinking that it's like the website is down. Oh. Trigger fire is like not working. Ah. Can't connect. Trigger fire. Okay. Um. Video point redeems are uh, down, so don't use them. And then I can pin that, right? Just check. Pin. There you go. Customize time. Uh, manually unpin during the stream. There you go. Really are. Hopefully that helps some people know not to use them. Because, yeah, I don't think there's much else I can do. I'm going to hide them for the time being, I think. That's all I can really do. Um, gaming, and then I'll hide it on this one as well. Um, well let me just try refreshing cache on this one too. Refresh cache? Yep, no, it's not going to work. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, no one be crazy. Um... So yeah, guys, don't do vo uh, video routine tests, I suppose. Uh, game is up, wonderful, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I guess trigger fire is just down. Like, that's so weird. I've not seen that ever. Trigger fire down. Trigger fire stopped working. No idea what I did wrong. Fire. Click error. Hmm. I'm not seeing like anything pop up. Like what the issue could be. It's just just to stop working. I. Huh. Okay. Five oh four gateway timeout. Okay. It's just like the website's down. The website is literally just down. There's nothing I can do. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, that's enough of that. Uh, let's play. Uh, we needed to go talk to this uh, very rude gentleman. Who, um, is it you? It is you. Yeah. So TLDR, this guy was like, hey, let's euthanize and kill, genocide all the fiends. Because uh, some guy in, in the followers wanted me to build like a... A place to get the fiends hooked off of drugs, and then this guy came around. And he's like, "Yeah, we can set that up, and then and then I could be evil and do evil things." And I'm like, "Yeah, fuck that. That's no." Yeah, the followers know about your plan. You need to leave town right now. I just realized the music's still playing. My apologies. Um, oh, there we go. Dun dun. Cool. Gonna save the poor innocent fiends and make peace with Westside all yes. at the same time? Yes, I am, you piece Bullshit, of shit. Kid. You might weaken the fiends, but you won't stop them. Someone worse might even take their place. No the doubt that. To destroy them. Make an example for all to see. No. Maybe in that sense, you I guys didn't kill the, the rangers. Take the desert measures. rangers, you didn't kill them, you let them join. With 10k caps, convince you to leave. No, fuck that. With your plan, the NCR won't be credited for killing the fiends. People will attribute to drugs. Yeah. The NCR ain't gonna take the credit, you moron. The drugs just killed them off. That's not gonna help you at all. It proves nothing. Maybe. But it's damn near guaranteed to work. What? I know what you're saying. Most people are dumber than a Brahmin. Unless you decapitate 100 fiends in front of them, people will refuse to believe we did it. Mm -hmm. Besides... The brass seems committed to using bounty hunters. Yeah, and like me. A con, turning in a nappy fingers for cash and calling you, it a What do you mean? I've literally the done the work. Like you can't just deny it. Snake things with the head that grows back. 
Oh. Only way to stop it is to burn that fucker whole. That's not how the saying goes, but good job trying. <laughs> you keep cutting off heads. And eventually, some big bad motherfucker will grow back and eat your I asshole. I don't agree with you. In the meantime, I'll go back to hunting 80s up north. You do that, buddy. Nobody that sounds like what you're good at and what you enjoy doing. Go be evil somewhere else. This is my Mojave. Well, not my Mojave yet, but it's going to be my Mojave eventually. <laughs> Once we choose the ending, Lamau. Um, Katie has left the Mojave wasteland for California. It is uncertain if your pass will ever cross again. I hope so, Rex, buddy. I hope so, Russell, buddy. It's so weird that we just have a dog. Swift and silent. Katie, you're an asshole. Yeah, he just wants to... I, Russell even like, thinks that we should have murdered, like, genocided all the fiends. I just think that's, like, like morally, like, dubious. Like, I said this last stream. No, last stream, but last New Vegas stream. It's like, that's literally the, the argument that Hitler said. It's like, no, you can't. We have to kill them all. They're all evil. Like, fucking Russell, my guy. Like, some of them are just, you know, fell into the wrong group and just wanted to do some drugs. Like, you can make them be good people, you idiots. Like, that's a horribly disgusting thing to say. You were part of the Desert Rangers. What if the NCR just killed all you guys instead of, like, letting you merge, you know? It's just stupid. <laughs> it's a very ridiculous argument. Um, so yeah, what are we doing now? Uh, tell Grant that Katie's out of the picture. Easy. Bam. Prove a damn, see you soon. Do we ever see that like little Bevo mascot? I don't think so. I'm assuming it's like the IRL mascot, maybe? We don't really see it in game at all. Very nice. A dead s I don't like these dead skulls. Maybe remove the dead skull that looks like it's crying. It's not really a skull, it's just like a smiley face that's crying and bleeding. <laughs> Hello! I can't Hi, I know, that's on. not the guy I need. Who's the guy I need? You're the guy I need. No you aren't. Where's the guy I need? What? There he is, there's a guy I need. Hi. I hear the great Kong No, not you, lady. I'm sorry. Up. You. What is it? I got rid of the guy. I convinced Katie to leave the Mojave. Yay. Oh, Didn't have to good. kill him. I know it wouldn't have been easy getting through a stubborn hick like Katie. With him out of the picture, we can focus on the clinic. Yay. Don't hesitate to come back if you need anything. Mm hmm We couldn't have done this without you, Courier. Well, good. Canyon. No worries. Oh, that quest is done. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, so, by the way, uh, I apologize to everybody who was here last time when we were doing this quest uh, and playing New Vegas last time. My internet just cut out, like, randomly around, like, this exact time that I am streaming right now. Um, and I don't know, I think the internet just dropped out. That's that's all that happened. Like, yeah. Couldn't do much about it. Um... <laughs> Um... Okay, apparently there's a bunch of other stuff that like happens after this quest as well, but we're gonna ignore for the time being. Um, because you have to wait a few days. Um, oh, actually, I did want to go like back here though. Um, I don't know if it's been long enough, if it's been a couple days, but... You can go check on the uh, the family and the hobos. That's what I want to do. West side entrance. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That's just around here. I'm never on this like north side of Vegas either, very rarely. Yeah. Oh. 
I'm assuming I drink my water, but I don't know. It was a, I didn't see the the usual animation for it. Hi, how are you guys doing? Yeah. Hey, are you getting along? Uh, Wastelander, where's the- oh, okay, I think I haven't waited enough. What do you need? You're not the dad, right? You're the dad. What is it? Yeah, you're the dad, right? Looks like they were- yeah! Uh, looks like everything worked out between you and Ronnie. Yeah, I have to crack a few heads every now and then. Aw, that's Ronnie awesome. And his crew are working out all right. Hell yeah. Been blessed with a lot of business. Nice. You're always welcome. Any time of the day. It actually was you the best solution. Cut you a discount. It's the least I can do after what you've done. Hell yeah, thanks, my guy. Oh yeah. What is it? I guess we'll check his wares. I gotta see wares. He's a thousand caps. That's not even that bad. Holy crap. Meat, flour, seed, meat, meat, eggs, maize, fruits, fruits, rat meat, sarsaparilla. Um, miscellaneous, devcore egg. Uh, any other bullets we can, like, drop off? Flame of fuel we kind of need. Oh, yeah, do you have 12 gauge that I may could maybe try with a shotgun, I guess? You do not have 12 gauge. Interesting. Okay. There you go. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Wow, your voice got really high-pitched there all of a sudden, James. Hi. Goodbye. How are you today? Uh, I'm good, Billy. Hello again. Billy is, like, something else? the most generic child name ever. Billy. <laughs> I hope no parents, like, still call their kids Billy in the 21st century. Like, do you think there's a Billy who's, like, being born today? Like, a, a kid gets born and the parents are like, you know what, Billy? Billy is a good name. I hope not. <laughs> okay, so yeah, whatever inheritance quest we have, I think we have a few more. Two or three? Two. Uh, being a speaker of Ranger Bobon about the con uh, about the contract. I think there's, like, an NCR thing to, like, uh... I don't know what it was. Where is it? Um, this one. Yeah, I think we just help the NCR with like the Legion, maybe. Or are you because of your past actions, reputation. There is a signing. Wait, okay, what do you want me to do? Some of my closest friends and their angels were killed, and I believe you're the right person to see our operation through. He doesn't really tell me what the operation is. I'm actually more interested in the think of the children, to help. The kids that are like orphans? I think that's what we're gonna do. Because that sounds more like beneficial. And she's all the way in Novak? Esther, I think her name was. <laughs> the like letter could like cut out at the end. You couldn't read her name. Can we turn my light? No, that my light was off. Okay, do not look at the pink lady. The pink lady is scary. The gecko's mouth looks like a nifty perch. Wow, that's a very good observation, Russell. <laughs> um, hello, hello, hello. Who are we? Whoa, holy crap! Who's this guy? Zeke. Holy crap! Zeke looks awesome. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Hi, you're the lady we're looking for, Esther. Yes. Hi. Uh, I don't like the eyes look like plastic and dead, but you know that's fine. Oh god, this is messed up. Um, I'm the mailman. You want to discuss building an orphanage, right? Yeah, that sounds really wholesome. I, I have a lot of money, and if there's some people I want to help, I guess it's the orphaned children in the apocalypse. Oh, of course. I wasn't sure if you would respond. I've heard of you. Okay, I was going to ask, how did you know me? Syndicate, saved West Side from fiends. I did, in fact, do all those I things. I also heard you're well off. Yes, I got money. Vegas is a town of haves and have-nots. Mm -hmm. I want to know if you'll be willing to help us give back to the less fortunate. Give them a better shot. I mean, yeah. I already have the spot for the orphanage picked out. And Zeke can provide security. What I need are caps. Okay. 10,000 caps to be specific. That's a lot, but I have it. I can definitely make it... Oh, this is so wholesome. Okay. Uh, why should I trust you? I don't know who you are. You're going to build an orphanage. Tell me, who are you? <laughs> I was an orphan myself. Okay, I guess that I makes sense. That's like a good story. Struggling to survive. That's a good reason. Just stay alive. 
I've spent years just getting on my feet, working as a trader. For the first time, I'm in a position to help these children, hmm. to help new babies. Well, not really, if you need 10,000 caps from me, lady. Oh, I want to spare these children the hardships of living on the street. I can't do it alone, though. I need your help. Uh, can't go your tongue, lady? What? I wanted to ask the other questions. Okay, um... Yeah, okay. So, I'm, I don't know how many people here have watched Naruto, but I'm reminded... I haven't seen Boruto, but I do know that in Boruto... Um... Is the video game really... No, they're not. In, at the, in Boruto, apparently, like, a Kabuto opens up an orphanage and just magically becomes a good guy again. At least with him, it makes more sense than Orochimaru. Orochimaru is, like, literally evil. But Kabuto, you can kind of, like, understand, maybe. Um, 10k caps? Are you housing them at the Ultra Lux? Yeah, what's, what would I you spend? I pull that amount out of thin air. Okay. The NCR doesn't help worth squat. Okay. So me and Zeke have to get the ball rolling. Everything costs money. I, I believe we you. We have to get water, okay. food, This is what travel, I wanted to know. Yeah, the logistics. Okay. Then there's the NCR permits and taxes. Mm-hmm. It takes green to cut through red tape. Yeah, I get you. I've already got the building picked out. Okay, that's good. It's a place just east of the medical clinic. That's a good barrier. When we're set up, you Fiends can aren't really yourself. there. Fiends are on the other side. What's up with your mutant? Yeah, Zeke. He looks he's cool. He's a bodyguard of sorts. Hell yeah. I bailed him out of some trouble a while back. He's epic. So I like him. <laughs> some kind of crazy blood oath just like, to protect me. Oh my god, that reminds me of talker, Zalabar from he's hell on Kotor. And then sort of rumble. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think of like son of a bitch, bad motherfucker. We should just get bad motherfucker just to be like, yeah, we have him. Haha, -ha, so funny. Uh, if this means helping the children in New Vegas, I'll raise a say 20k. You know what? We have like 80, we nearly have like 100k. We're basically at 90k. So here you go, take it, lady. I want to help. This is I mm -hmm. never expected. Thank you. It's all good. It's going to take us a few days to get the place set up. Okay. But feel free to swing by when we're up and running. Okay. I might even have work for you. Work would be good. This is a great Help service you're so doing good. for New Vegas. We won't soon forget it. Nice. Esther and Zeke. Oh, did I get good karma? I did. Yay. Wholesome. Esther and Zeke immediately set off to establish the New Vegas orphanage. It should be open in a few days. Oh, amazing. Beautiful. It's Hi. This is it. I never liked this tent. I feel like there's nothing that happens in this tank. So I think maybe I have an issue because like there's a doctor who hangs out here, right? And she has like good services. And I think maybe, like, my game's a little buggy and glitch, because she's usually supposed to be here and not. Where are you guys going? Where are you? Boom. Okay. Weirdos. Uh, maybe we have to discuss... Okay, so now we just got to wait a few days, I'm assuming. That's, like, all we can do. Um, hello, 90210. I feel bad that the Fiend's best lines are cut content. Yeah. It's, it's one of those annoying situations where... I bring this up with every New Vegas stream, but it's, like, if only they had, like... Like, not even unrealistic. My game, my game bugged hard. Oh, no, that's not good at all. No, 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 no. I, I always gotta, like, try and remember to shorten your name a little bit better. But, um, but yeah, it, even if, like, Obsidian had, like, six more months, how much more stuff they could have put into the game. Like, that's not even an unrealistic expectation, right? Six months, maybe a year. Not two or three more years. I mean, this game would be fucking golden, beautiful. Actually... So the problem is this game released in 2010, and so if you give it, like, an extra two years, you're pushing to the very end of the life cycle. And 2012 was, like, a big year. That was, like, um, uh, like, Last of Us and GTA V as well. And, like, this game on this engine would not have competed with those games, unfortunately. Uh, the guy that does stand up, the one on the top's quest, he was, like, stuck in the ground. Oh, lol. That doesn't happen uh, to me with NPCs, but like with enemies, like um, rats and and scorpions and whatnot, they sometimes get stuck in rocks. But my game isn't okay. So I will show you one thing. Nine hundred two one hundred. So I I kind of fucked up like my texture mods or something for for one of my weapons. Where is it? Items, weapons. The Ranger Sequoia is like busted. Like look at this. Like see, this is like objectively like yucky. I don't know what I did. I don't I don't know what I did to my gun. But it's, it's not the way that... It does not look the way that it should. <laughs> Unfortunately. That's okay. And I don't want to really, like, go... It's, a, like, the only gun that's, like, all, that's dodgy as well. At least it's not a giant exclamation mark. So true, so true. It's just, like, the mapping. Like, the mesh the mesh of it is must be broken somehow. And I, I don't want to, like, try and fix it. And I've had it since, like, the start of the game, presumably. So, I don't know. I, ha I did follow a guide. I should probably just go on the forums and be like, hey, this thing is not working correctly. 
which I did originally when I when I did do it. Um, but yeah, if I ever do like a second play, what's going on down there? Oh, this is where the doctor is. So yeah, this was what I was gonna say. This doctor lady, she like t like usually she's supposed to be standing out this tent, but for me, oh, I don't want to steal this, you freaking evil Rex. Jesus. Um, yeah, she just like moves around to random places. I don't get her. I think her like park location is broken. Hi. Also, that zoom was really weird. Need medical supplies? Can I sell you some stuff, please? Uh, buff out, fixer, powder, jet, medex, mentat, psycho, scotch, uh, whiskey, there we go. Oh, uh, video, thank you, uh, let me quickly mute, just be safe. Not that I don't trust you, but I gotta be careful. Talking to theme leaders, yeah, I love this so much, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what you know what would have been cool as well is like if you could and it definitely feels like it makes sense for like New Vegas specifically, but if you could have role played as um as a fiend. Do you know what I mean? Cause they cut it's weird. I I, I just did a video game like ranking tier list stream uh before this stream, nine oh two, and um like I ranked Fallout three and Fallout Four on the same tier B. Because I still like them. I still think they're good games. They're just nowhere near as good as S tier, New Vegas, and Fallout 2. And for, uh, A tier was Fallout 1. 76 was very low D. Um, but but basically, like... Um, also, what do you think... What, what do you like? I'd like to know. Because I'm actually interested now in knowing that words like Fallout 3 more than 4. Do, do you like Fallout 3 more or Fallout 4 more? Because as much as like I am angry at how Fallout 4 came out... I do think Fallout 4, I like Fallout 4 more than 3. Because I, I think it's a, like, it's Bethesda, it's the, t it's the Bethesda team. And you can see that they made, like, they improved in some ways from 4 to 3, uh, 3 to 4. Right? Like, I think, like, I, Fallout 4 is more of an easier, accessible game to pick up nowadays as well. Like, Fallout 3 came out in 2008, so. I prefer New Vegas as more RPG than FPS, yeah. I, I do think Fallout 4 has merit, but it's, one, not a good Fallout game, and two, not a good RPG. Right, but it's still a fun. Sh it's more like a Borderlands, right? It's more like a looter shooter, if anything. That's how I like to play. You, you, you shoot people, shoot a looter. You shoot them, and then you take their stuff, and then you take miscellaneous items to build up your bases. You know, uh, Fallout Three has a better story that's slightly longer. Four story is just three with half of it taken away. Fair enough, fair enough. Each to their own. I maybe I, I, it's been a very long time since I've played Fallout Three. So maybe I need to go back and give it like a better chance, because I have my my memory is more. And I don't think the story of Fallout Four is good, by the way. Like it, it is bad, but for me, I think the gameplay. I'm 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 pushing the gameplay of Fallout Four ahead of anything that Three does. Because my problem with Fallout Three story nine hundred two one hundred is that like you're railroaded to hell and back. I hate I hate the opening intro so much. It it's like my least liked thing. In video gaming, because like you just have to play through all of it, and it forces you to be a certain character who has certain relationships with certain people. You have a father, you had a mother who died. Like you, why can't I role play that my mother lived? You know, the, you know, just and I just love the opening of New Vegas. It's just like you can be whoever the fuck you want. You know, I love it. Fallout Three, find your dad, Liam Neeson. Why the heck are we looking for him? Find the Gek, start the Purifier Four. Find your son, blow up a faction. GG. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Um, for New Vegas is find the guy who shot you. <laughs> uh, blow up faction as well. Technically, New Vegas. It's weird that full out New Vegas has basically the same plot as like three or four, but it's like the nuances that make it so much better, right? Like whenever people talk about like the story and the writing of like Fallout games and New Vegas specifically, it's obviously not the literal story that is good. It is like the side quests and the the character writing. You know, and your choices. Like when people say writing, I think they usually mean like your choices, like your your player like functionality. Fallout One, where the fuck is my water chip? Where the fuck is the the master? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, I'm debating like what for next Fallout like, game I should do. Like if I'm going back, I may as well do one and then two. Uh, but because I'm not gonna do two without doing one, that's just dumb. Or I could go back to three, or I could go up to four. I'm, and, you know, that's not counting 76. Or Tactics of Brotherhood. 
Fallout 2, where the fuck is the... Yeah, where is the Enclave? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, like, every Fallout game has, like, a very... Yeah, but you can almost describe, like, anything like that, right? Very simply, but... Yeah, for, for, you know, there are there are nuances that make Fallout a lot better than just the, those simple taglines. <laughs> Oop. I'll have some of those caps. Thank you, lady. Yeah, we're good here. Three, where's my dad? Where's the gag? Where's your... <laughs> Holy crap, it's actually the same customer. the same plot. Bye. Goodbye. Um, dehydration level? No worries. Purified water. Um, glug, glug, glug. Hello. Okay, well, I guess we have to wait a few days, so we may as well do repaid in full. Speak of Rage of Beaumont about the track, uh, contract. It's actually just down here. I guess we'll walk. Um, isn't there, like, a new location? Yeah, I don't want to walk. Actually, I don't want to do that, because I might walk past, like, the New Vegas Bounties 2 location. I don't want to do it. TBH Bethesda is just a good at reworking the same idea over and over. It's just good at reworking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, I can't wait to see what the plot of Starfield is going to be. Oh, okay, so 90210, did you see about the Xbox 2023 showcase leak? Did you, did you see the, the leak at all? Because if you haven't, then I'm excited to, to show you or talk about it. I'm excited not. When I jump up her legs, like, it's shaky a little bit. Okay, no, they're just shaky on average. Also, we have this random dog. I, I guess this is just a guy you get. As a PC and PlayStation gamer, nope. Well, that's fine, 902, because... Uh, so, the main reason why I follow um, Xbox is specifically because they also mainly do announce a lot of PC stuff. Most things that are, that are on Xbox nowadays are PC, whereas PlayStation is more into exclusive titles still, and Nintendo, obviously, are very exclusive. But uh, let me go get the link for you, 902. And uh, where is it? I think it was in general. And then we're going to go copy link. Now, obviously, this is a leak. And a leak does not mean it's real or legitimate. But here you go. Take a look. Considering the CEO of Microsoft has said that they lost the console war. Yeah. No, I, do, I don't think it's like a good, a better console at all. Like, I do think PS5 is also a way better console. Um, but PlayStation just has better games and better exclusives. I just enjoy... I always watch the showcases for, like, new game releases, announcements... Uh, gameplay showcases. So yeah, take a little look at this leak. 90210 owned. You, you you know, it's kind of okay list, you know. Avowed. Starfield gameplay. Starfield gameplay seems good. Apparently maybe they're gonna, you know, re-release Fable. Fable remake. Sedeke 3. That's pretty good. Hollow Knight Silk Song gameplay. Ooh, that's pretty good. Eh. Eh, yeah, yada yada. Killer, killer Instincts. Re-release. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wolfenstein 3. Oh, that's kind of hype, actually. Pulls of Motorsport, eh, who cares? Midnight, huh? Fallout New Vegas 2. Oh, okay, uh, Halo Tonica. Fallout New Vegas 2? What? That's like the, the oh god, why is my, my <laughs> face broken? Yeah, that's, uh, so this is a unconfirmed, unconfirmed rumored leak, so maybe don't get too excited, but, um, my chat was popping off, uh, yesterday, yesterday's Fallout New Vegas stream, and we just talked about this for, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> We were just going fucking crazy because it's not even it's not even that Fallout New Vegas two is leaked. Oh, I knew about New Vegas two like three months ago. I I see I've heard rumors of leaks, but you know what I mean. I never believed them, but this one I'm a little more inclined to believe. So what's even more hype though, nine hundred two is not less. Well, it's not just that it's a New Vegas two leak announcement of reveal or whatever, but it's that it's made by Obsidian. That's the thing that matters the most. Is because if this was full New Vegas 2 made by Fez, it's like, eh, okay, well, that's good. That's like, it's still exciting. It's still New Vegas 2. But Obsidian? Now that's what I'm talking about, baby, because they know, they know what they're doing. And I, I genuinely feel like, because like Jay Sawyer and, uh, who's the other guy? I always forget his name. I always remember Sawyer because he has the mod, but like, uh, Avalone. Avalone, he's the other one, I think. Like, they're probably getting up in age, and this is probably going to be their last big magnum opus. They're like tapping out. They're like, we got to make one more Fallout. This is our, this is our baby. You know, we just got to give it our love and attention. So what game dev is going to be on the box? Well, it says it's, so if you check the list, it says Obsidian. Fallout New Vegas 2 made by Microsoft. <laughs> so true. Well, okay. So Microsoft owns both Bethesda and Obsidian, who are both separate companies, obviously. But at the end of the day, 
Bethesda would have still needed to sign off on Obsidian using their IP. Now, what what could have happened is Microsoft, since it owns both Bethesda and Obsidian, they could have been like, Bethesda, you're going to give Obsidian their IP. And Todd Howard would have been like, but no, we make the Fallout 4. And but Microsoft's like, do you want to stay CEO of Obsidian, of Bethesda, Todd Howard? And Todd Howard's like, uh, yes, Daddy Microsoft, and Microsoft's like, well, you're going to give the IP to Bethesda because they have a way better track record and their fans are very much big fans of their Obsidian games and they don't like you very much, buddy, so you're going to give them the IP. And Todd Howard probably just went reluctantly, it just works, <laughs> or something, I don't know. Um, Just strong arm them, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, That's my guess. Because, yeah, like... Like, Todd Howard has publicly said in interviews that, like, he didn't really feel like giving the IP back out to anyone. Um, and obviously they also have the bad track record with the bad, bad track record with the whole 7980, uh, game, game score. They have a really good track record, pause, when we only, when we only give them 18 months to create a game. Yeah, fuck Bethesda. God damn it. But yeah, hopefully this is real. I, I'm probably getting my heart, my, my hopes too high. When is it ha coming out? When is I I'm probably gonna like live stream it, so I don't know if you want to watch it even just in the background. Xbox Showcase 2023 date. It's um June 13th. There you go. Okay, cool. It's not just Bethesda that did it to Obsidian. Oh, like just yeah. In general, oh Kotor 2. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Yep, that's the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy that like those guys can make some of the greatest video games of all time in just 18 months it's insane yeah 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 i just remembered kotor 2 not yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i remembered it clicked it clicked uh and it's a banger yeah exactly it's amazing uh now okay now 902 you might disagree with me on this this might be a hot take towards kotor fans but i do i think i think kotor 2 is amazing i think it's like a peak and I think for, like, the themes and messages it's going for, I do think it's better than KOTOR 1. But at face value, I do think KOTOR 1 is the objectively better, more well-designed video game. I think I like 1 more than 2. Even But I am admitting that, that I do think 2 is better written. Like, 2 is more interesting. But I think 1 is more of a clean game. If that makes sense. Like, KOTOR 1 is going for the good guy, bad guy, like, story. Generic story, right? That That's its intended experience. 2 has a better, more nuanced story. 1 has a better flow to it. Yeah, exactly. That's the word I'm kind of, like, trying to look for. Pacing. I think KOTOR 1 has way better pacing than 2. And, like, and, and the I guess the main issue is that 1 and 2, you, like, both games, you can go to whatever planet you want out of order. So, like... It doesn't really matter, I guess. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I just enjoy one. There's like, I don't know. There's like a nostalgia hit to me about one. where, But I know like two with Kraya and all that. I also low-key don't really like the affinity system in two. Like like the invisible background points of like, do you know what I mean? Like, I just don't like it. It's like, oh, you got to say the nice things. I wish I could just do the quest. It's actually my same issue with New Vegas as well. It's like, I don't like Boons. Arcades is a little annoying. Um, who else? Raul. Raul's is really annoying. I really don't like Raul's. But like how they just have the invisible points in the background. It kind of annoys me. Uh, the starting planet on 2 takes 3 to 4 hours to get off the fucking tutorial planet. Oh, um... I'm trying to remember. You're not talking about the mining station, right? You're talking about, um... Because you get off the mining station, but then you're on the mining planet, right? Right? I'm think I'm I forget the name. I oh god, I forget it. But yeah, you because well, okay, you actually okay, 902, the intro of two is way, way worse than one. And people complain about Taris. I think I hope this isn't a hot take. I think Taris might be one of the most well designed first sort of like tutorial locations ever in a video game. I think Taurus is fucking awesome. Pragus, that's it. Yeah, Pragus sucks. I agree. I think Taurus is amazing. I think, like, how... Like, Taurus is so, like, intricately designed. Like, 
I, I just, I, mm. there's something that, like, makes my blood, like, get pumped up when I think of, like, how well Taurus is designed with all its quests and side quests. And, like, just all the locations. Like, I, I just, maybe it's because I was, like, so addicted to it as a kid. But, like, my, I just, it's ingrained in my memory all, like, the entire map. Like, I could literally, I can envision, like, the entire map. Like, from when you wake up, you go out, there's always, like, the the six rooms or whatever in each of the, um, um, like, the living spaces. Uh, and then you go out and you go across and there's a shop and then you keep going across and there's a canteen. And then you go back, you go left, and then there's the medical reception. And then, uh, uh, no, 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 wait, sorry. They're, they're in the same spot, but it's, it's the... Oh god, is it the droid shop or is it the what? Well, well, anyway, there's the droid shop uh, or the medical reception being on level one or two of the the first location. I'm waffling, but you know what I mean. I love Tyrus. I think Tyrus is just so well designed. Uh, you could go straight negative affinity in Kotor two and be the same as full good at affinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think that's so silly. Like I get, I get that you can do that, but um, the promised land quest does it for me every time. Like you don't like it or you hate it. Um, I, I was, I remember as a kid, maybe because I was just a kid, but I was really scared of the under levels. The, I like it. Okay. Okay. And you know what? You know what? It's so crazy. Okay. So, uh, Obsidian didn't work on KOTOR 1. It was, uh, Bioware, but you can't tell me that come fly with me from New Vegas and the promised land quest uh, in KOTOR 1, aren't the same fucking quest. They, they're like, corporate wants you to find the difference between these two pictures. They're the same picture. You know what I mean? And that's why I like them, because, like, yeah, they're, they're, they're just so good. They essentially are, yeah. But it's weird, because... It's weird, because in both instances, it's heavily implied... It's heavily implied that, like, the, 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 the top guy... So it's, like, the old crazy man... I think, oh god, who was the guy, well, whoever the guy is in, in, in KOTOR 1, who, like, is, like, he wants you to find his pupil's books, right, him, and then, um, uh, the, uh, Jason Bright, Jason Bright in New Vegas, like, it's very heavily implied that they're kind of, like, crazy people, old crazy man, glowing zombie, yeah, in both instances, it's implied that they're kind of, like, making shit up, like, they don't really know that this is real, and, it, uh, like, especially, okay, we, we've KOTOR 1, the old crazy man, like, has his pupils, his, his disciples, they're dead. He gets them killed, um, believing this nonsense, because they were going into the sewers and doing stuff. Like, he gets them killed, right, with this magical, m invisible plan he has to go find the promised land. And, and with Jason Bright, uh, he's, you know, getting his disciples killed as well by fighting the Nightkin in the lower levels, and also he's, um, Chris, I think his name is Chris, the human, he's, like, uh, brainwashed Chris into thinking that he's a, uh, ghoul, and that he can come along with them, he's just full-on lying to him, but then, I think, but then, they both kind of turn out to be true, though, less so in KOTOR 1, we don't really get any th hints ever again, I don't think, but they all just walk off peacefully. If you if you do it peacefully, right? It, that's not saying if you sell the you know the journals or whatever. But yeah, if you give them all back, like that, everybody leaves. And I guess it's implied that they go and find it. And with New Vegas, um, in one of the endings, I think it's the Legion ending. Uh, they come back. The ghouls come back on the on a ship. So like. That must mean they landed somewhere and came back, surely, right? Like, if you, like, you know what I mean? In both instances, it's like, okay, I guess it was real. I guess it was legit. <laughs> it's implied they're making things up, but at the same time shows just enough that it could be true. Yeah, I guess it's like that that hope inspiration sort of thing. Yeah, headcanon is they went to Dago from Fallout 2. That's the theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I always know little bits of theories here and there. But, but a big popular one that I, and maybe you told me this 90210 owned or someone, or you were here when someone told me, but I, for the, for the life of me, I had never heard that, um, no bark, who's like right here anyway. Oh no, no, sorry. I'm in freaking ranger station now, not, uh, no back. I thought I was still in no back, but yeah, I'd never heard that, um, that no bark was the chosen one. I'd never heard that theory until I started streaming this game and a bunch of people came in. And we're like, yeah, that's actually, like, a very common, stupid theory. It's not really legit, but it is, it does have a bit of evidence.
to back it up. Um, a lot of people also like to say that one guy you can recruit for the quest, the the talent, the talent show one that you were doing nine hundred two. You said you were just playing it before. They said that he could be the uh, chosen one. It's because of the bird dad highwayman and South and Novak. Yeah, and also, but he also uh, references like, uh, like you know, Cold War. Like he mentions Lenin on the moon and like communist stuff, and it's like how how would he know that? No one else knows that stuff. That's from the freaking Cold War, you know? And that, that, that gun in Dinky the Dinosaur. Oh, yeah, that gun. Because that gun is uh is in Fallout 2 as well. I mean, it's a reference to um Blade Runner, but yeah. Because uh, that gun is also in 2. Yeah, so there is a lot of evidence. I do 100% agree, but uh, yeah, it would be silly. Because um, his whole... But mm, it's cool. It's cool, but I don't think it's true. You know what I mean? But I also wouldn't be unhappy if it was true. But yeah, that uh, that talent show quest. They also say it's that other guy who's like running away from his debts. I forget his name. The Lonesome Drifter is the son of the Mysterious Stranger. Oh yeah, that's absolutely true. I do have that gun on me, right? Or did I get rid of it? I got rid of Mysterious Magnum. It's in the... It's an okay gun, but it doesn't have like good stats. Like uh, when I say good stats, I mean like... I'm um, AMT doesn't have good stats, but you know, like bonus crit and bonus ch crit chance. Sorry, bonus crit chance and bonus crit damage. Like I'd rather the for, for revolvers, I'd rather the Ranger Sequoia than the Mysterious Magnum. Wait, what? What, what is Russell doing? Wait, where were you guys? Why were you taking forever to run? Like, like if I had to choose between the Sequoia or the Magnum, I'd rather choose the Sequoia because it's just better, better stats. Oh, the guy in the hotel at Novak. Yeah, 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 that guy. He's like running away from his death. Some say it's him. Because he mentions a lot of stuff, like, from Fallout 2. I do get that. I do understand that he mentions a lot of stuff from Fallout 2. I don't know what the connection is. Is that he is the chosen one specifically, though? Um, I guess, like, maybe... Oh, yeah, he... I forgot that he was in the in the hotel in Novak. Obvious. okay, he's... All the evidence for Nobark is also that he he owns the car. He he has that gun or whatever, etc., etc. Because, yeah, he, re like, actively refers to all that two stuff. So, I mean, it could be him. I I don't know. Um, I like Nobark a little more just because of, like, the Lennon references. The idea being that he has access to Cold War, like, literature. Which only really the Chosen One guy does. Nobark, Nobark is obscenely rich, though. Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's just fuck around. Let's go back. Let's go back. Um... Oh, that's just the last job. I'm not gonna walk all the way there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, so I don't know how rich he is, but he does have enough money, enough caps to like build up defenses. Like he has, he has like explosives and guns, right? Um, hey, no bark, chosen one. You've seen them too, haven't you? Uh huh. I can see it in your eyes. Uh-huh. I knew I wasn't the only one. Yep. So he says this, by the way, and... Oh, that's right, the caravan. That's why he's rich. I'm an idiot. I just remembered. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, it's... He he has a never-ending supply of caps. Yeah. So also, the, the another thing that, like, proves, like, his legitimacy is that you think he's crazy when he's talking about the commie ghosts, uh, but he's not... He, he's right. He's talking about the Nightkin. He's talking about the, the stealth boy, invisible Nightkin. And so he's not crazy. And he knows about the ghouls from, from... I mean, everybody knows about the ghouls. But you know what I mean? Like, no bar isn't talking nonsense. He's literally correct. He knows the truth. He's, um... Uh... What's the freaking X-Files main character called? Scully? Scully? It's like, uh, do you believe or whatever? Like, like no bark is literally him. <laughs> he's he's right. Comic ghosts could also be holograms from the from the oil rig. Oh my god, so true, so fucking true, bro. I wish we could bring no bark to Marcus <laughs> and be like, hey, bro, is this your is this your fam? Is this one of yours? <laughs> Do you guys know each other by any chance? Oh man, it's um another thing that was uh, brought to my attention, and I knew this, but like it's just things that you kind of forget about every so often. But like. Obviously, Cass's father was, uh, um, like, like her father was Cassidy, companion in two, um, and he technically should have known Marcus as well, right? But Cass and Marcus don't have any, like, dialogue. But I guess Cat Cass wouldn't necessarily know Marcus. 
just Cassidy's father, Cassidy, right? So, but then Mark, maybe Marcus should know that Cassidy has a daughter. You know, little bits and stuff, little bits of stuff like that, right? Um, goodbye, goodbye, no, no bark. Uh, funny part about Fallout 2, yes, I'm all ears. Um, let's go back here. Load this game, yes. Also, yes, I'm not really playing the game. I am talking. I like talking more. Mon monster of the East, huh? Yes. Well, I've got the Monster of the West in my holster right now. Oh, wow, you're so clever. Them. Also, you have really nice glasses. You're a very attractive woman. I'm not gonna lie. I... I don't know why I thought you were attractive, but you, yeah. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Beaumont, Beaumont, we're here for a contract. I think we need to do a big, like, shootout, so hopefully everything goes well. No, none of you guys. It's you, hello. Hi. Yes. Uh, so one of the most badass villains, Frank, yep, is voiced by uh, Worf from Star Trek. I did not know that. That's awesome. Uh, what's your background, buddy? Grew up on a farm near Daglo. Okay. Joined up Speaking about Daglo. Huh? Spent some time with the grunts before I made Ranger. Uh huh. Then I hunted Raiders for a spell. Yeah, most people I do that. I bullhead with Kimball back in '70. Okay. And then did my last tour picking up the pieces of Zulu. God fucking damn it, some guy! Why did you mention Zulu a million times but never fucking? Oh my god. I I know obviously. So yeah, I'm playing some guy 2000 mod. Uh, this is the inheritance. These are like a couple quests you do after the end of the inheritance, which I actually think are more interesting than the. The main quest line um but yeah unfortunately some guy 2000 kind of like left the modding scene after the better angels and never did anything else and also three was very rushed new vegas bounties three was kind of rushed and kind of messy um and he never did the firebase zulu which was going to be his next mod and he, he hints about it in all, all his mods but then he does, ne never does it which upsets me i could also rant and rave about the the new vegas bounties lore but i know like, less people know about that or care about that as much as, like, just regular official Fallout canon lore. But I like Some Guy 2000. I just have a really strong appreciation for the story he wrote. Even if it's not exactly Fallout, it's very edgy. It's very... I don't know. It's, it, it's not Fallout, right? It's Fallout adjacent. It's fan fiction, basically. But I enjoy it. I appreciate it. I think it's cool. A lot of the concepts he came up with are really cool that I wish were more explored in detail in, like, official Fallout games. Like, just, like, you know, I don't know, building up things. I like building up things. It's why I thought I would really like the Fallout 4 settlement system, but then, in actuality, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried RTS? Um, Real-time settler? Is that a mod for um, Fallout 4? Or is this the... Uh, it's a mod for New Vegas. So this was the... So, okay, it's good. Okay, I was... I, okay. Because I was thinking of Sim Settlements for uh, for a 4. Um, no, so yeah, Real Time Settler was the, the mod where you build up um, like a base or whatever. And uh, it's very obvious that Bethesda just stole that idea and put it into uh, 4. It's basically where Bethesda stole... Well, there you go, 902, yeah. It's basically where Fez just stole the settlement and system idea for 4. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, there's that, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Even some guy did, like, his own version. He did Checkpoint Gary. But, like, not even just that. Like, I do like the, um... Like, like you build stuff up. Like, in, um... Like, the, the, like we've just this... What we've done. We've done, like, the Fiend Clinic and the Orphanage. Like, you kind of build them up in little ways here and there. And, I don't know. Just they decided to make it half their fucking game. Yeah, fuck that. It's like, it's the same issue with Arkham Knight. It's like, you guys want the Batmobile, right? We'll give you the Batmobile. And then it's like, bro, you gave us too much Batmobile. We didn't want Batmobile the game, you know? It, it would have been better if they just did one one section with the Batmobile and then did DLC maps, right? Instead of making a whole game around the Batmobile. God damn it, man. Maybe I should play this mod on stream. It, can, it it last time it was updated was in 2011, so I don't think it runs well. Uh, find a strategic location, start your village, establish trade routes and alliances, fight for your freedom. Also, all the images are no longer available. It it was from tinypick.com. Is tinypick.com still around? Tinypick.com. Please don't be sus. Please don't. 
Tiny Pick has ceased operations due to an inability to support a high quality free digital service that derives 100% of its revenue from ever declining on site revenues. Tiny Pick has shut down its operations. You you know you know a mod is old when the images they used are from a, a image like website that is no longer active. Like that's actually funny. That's really funny to me. Oh god. Okay, okay. Um, Zulu, what happened there, buddy? Uh huh. I missed the big rodeo back in '79. Okay. Real trap for it. Yep. It's a sliver of rock overlooking a pass south of Bullhead. Mm hmm. Politicians want the base because it protects the silver mine. Money. Problem is, they underestimated how bad the Legion would want it. Caesar's southern commander, Marcellus, just about wiped Zulu off the map. Mm hmm. Wasn't much left when I got there. We had to rebuild the defenses, replenish the garrison. And even now, I I don't know what the Sounds like a you problem, NCL. Before I left, Legion scouts started showing up, sniping our troops. Rumor has it Marcellus is gonna attack Zulu again. Oh no. If that's true, I'm sorry for the poor bastards who are gonna be there. Marcellus is just dangerous. Yeah, huh. Got Not as cool as uh like it though. Uh, I'm sorry, Lenius. Uh, what makes Marcus so dangerous? He's unpredictable. I think my next full F4 playthrough, I'm going to need to find a mod for different player races. Ah, oh, I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, why can't we get a freaking ghoul race? A ghoul or a super mutant? I realize the games would be fun functionally very different. But I'd love if New Vegas 2, if it's real, if it's legit. You could play as a ghoul or a super mutant. Oh, I don't know if you're allowed to say that word, bro. I'm not definitely not going to say it on Twitch myself. Marcellus doesn't do that shit. He actually tries to keep his men alive. Grants him some flexibility. Mm -hmm. They operate in heavily armed squads. He'll feign attacks, retreat, and hit you in the flanks. Hmm. I've seen it happen to a patrol. No survivors. On top of that, he does things that just... Well, I've seen some awful shit that'll haunt my dreams. Hmm. But the worst might have been his leader. And a group of escaped slaves. Well, as bomb collars. I'm, I'm assuming yeah, bomb collars. Like, that's... Even as I told him to back off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bunch of kids. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised, man. It's Legion is Legion. Explosion. It wasn't just a mess. It was. I hate that he's giving this horrible, depressing, like, like speech, and it's like the radio is playing. Right outside the base. We picked up the pieces of six kids. Yo, God. That was before his scouts even showed up. It was his way of letting us know that he still had his sights on Zulu. Uh huh. He won't stop until he gets it. Well, I don't think he ever gets it. Thankfully, technically, since Firebase never came out. Um, I need a crab body so I can be Mr. Krabs. Just hoard so many bottle caps as possible, lol. Radio is playing upbeat tunes. Guys talking about some depressing shit. Yeah, using child slaves wearing explosive collars to kill NCR man. <laughs> uh, at least, at least, uh, Galgura, Big High, uh, Galgura's rendition of Big Iron didn't play instead. I don't think that, I don't think I can have that one play on the radio, though. I think I can only have that one play on my Pip Boy radio. Yes, I have a Galgura singing hip, a uh, Big Iron replacement mod. Lamau. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm here about the letter. You want me to help you with something, my guy? Outstanding. I was having what? trouble recruiting mercs for this. Oh, okay. Nobody wants to come near this. Well, place. I'm the goddamn mailman. You give me a letter, I gotta right. return it. So here I am. Did that day hurt the Rangers? Hurt the entire NCR. Okay. I intend to. Turn so what's interesting about this quest is you, uh, people often don't know this, but Ranger Station Charlie, you can technically save. I believe you need to go to Camp Gold first. Get the return to, well, not Camp Gold first. You have to go to. Fallen Hope first. You get the re return to sender quest. Go to all the stations and then find out that the the codes are fake or whatever because Henlon is doing some sus stuff. And then you can replace the code. So you replace the codes for Ranger Station Charlie. And then the Legion uh, won't attack. They won't wipe out Ranger Station Charlie. Well, now I wonder if Iron Mouse has uh, covered any of the songs. Oh, let me see. Let me see. I can look up FNV Iron Mouse mod. 
Um, uh, Amelia, what there was like an Amelia Watson um mod as well, but it was kind of like it was just a radio station. It was kind of broken. It wasn't very good. Iron Mouse BGM for secondary mountain music. No, that's not it. Let me type in New Vegas Iron Mouse mod. No, okay. Let me just type in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Galgara is the only one that pops up. Galgara Big Iron M Manwa MC House. Wait, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? There's a there's a okay. There's a mod that changes Mr. House's face to be like a like a hot anime boy. What the fuck? Is this AI generated? Yes, this is the AI, but isn't PC friendly. Okay. Nice. You officially turned him into a VTuber. That was one of the comments. Um. Yeah, that's that's like uh, yeah, it's that's literally like the only main mod is the Galgara. I think there was also one that like changed the level up sounds. So if you did a, if you got a level up, you it played some Galgara something. I don't know. Just because Mouse has a really good voice. Oh yeah, she's amazing. Like um, especially like the uh, like orchestral sort of like songs, right? Um, I I'm a big Mousey fan. I think Mousey is like single handedly like uh carrying the shoujo right now obviously there's a like uh like Kason was big and awesome before v shoujo but now Kason's in v shoujo but like i guess that's what i mean like Kason doesn't really carry v shoujo because it's like she's like she's new right it, it feels like the og and obviously now that silver and Vebe are gone and yana's it's like holy crap but um that uh that henya girl that henya girl's pretty cool i like her i really like henya you know she uh, she's a kind of girl that makes me wanna you know make a make make a nice hot coffee. You know, she's just that pleasant. She's that just that pleasant of a girl. You know, she just has a really nice voice that makes me wanna make a, a nice hot beverage using a kettle. <laughs> oh, thank God I'm not like some official VTuber that's a part of a, a, a company. <laughs> I can't imagine that happening anytime and anytime soon. So, uh, but I still like being coy about it. I'm not gonna be like, I, what am I on about? I literally have fucking Galgura and Senzawa and Mori Kalahipi and Demon Dice like sound alerts all together, all merged together <laughs> at once. Yes, we all hate the Legion. Oh, okay. Followed by four thousand. Okay, that's good deals. Are you good to go? Uh, meanwhile, Haruka makes me want, uh, some Tims. Oh, um, do I not? Okay, I don't know Haruka's past life. Am I an idiot? Or, or is, is, is Tims a drink? I'm, I'm Australian. Please, I need, like, a sign that says, um, Tim Hortons? She's Canadian. Okay, that's the joke. Okay, wonderful. Tim Hortons. Okay, yes. Okay. I apologize. I'm I'm Australian. We don't have a we don't know what a Tim Hortons is. I'll be honest. That's that was a me fault. I'm sorry. I must I I need a sign that says please, please be patient. I'm Australian. I don't understand um American North American references. US and Canadian. <laughs> Uh, yes, because, because, yes. Oot and a boot. You guys have Hungry Jacks and Harold Holt Memorial Swimming Pools. That we do, that we do. Rest in peace, Harold Holt. He was the GOAT. He was the number one chat of all time. Why'd you guys do do him dirty like that? I don't know, man. Don't ask me. I, you gotta ask whoever did the pool. It's kind of goofy. Um, I, I think he's still alive out there in a secret Russian submarine. Hanging out with Hitler and, uh, Stalin. Because obviously that that fake but did you know that Russia has like Stalin's body like out on like um display like obviously you can't like just everybody can just go up and look at it but like they just have it out on display and, and it's like yeah there he is Lenin too Lenin too yeah 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 which is weird because uh everybody hated Lenin well Stal Stalin's regime hated Lenin anyway um yeah and, yeah <laughs> well did he. I mean, mainly, he more so hated Trotsky, but, like, it's just, like, it's so weird. It's, like, obviously, if Lenin was alive to see what Stalin did, he'd fucking hate his guts and be like, fuck you, you piece of shit. This is not what I was arguing for. This is not what I, <laughs> you know, envisioned. Um, the Stalin one is just so creepy to me. <laughs> it's just, like, okay. Yes, we love the big evil man. 
I mean, Russia will never... Oh, God, let's not get political. Su super political. This is too, like, on the nose. Um, I do follow quite a few independent YouTubers. I kind of dislike the big talent agency one, Stevie H. A good opinion, good opinions I have. I got into VTubers because, like, uh, of Gura. Like, I didn't know- I knew of VTubers before her, obviously. Um, I got into VTubers pretty late. Like, I started watching them about, like, March. February, March of 2021. So, it's been about two years now since I've been a VTuber fan. And the only reason why I got into Gal Gura is because I had a friend who told me, Hey, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Gal Gura used to be someone else and i was and i was a big simp I, I wasn't a simp but i was a big fanboy of uh of a past life so i was like okay and so i literally like binge watched like all her vods and caught up um and and i and i definitely don't catch up now today with watching all vods because i'm not like one of those people that's like my ushi i must dedicate my entire life my entire breathing and existence to worshiping just one vtuber it's like bro i i want to just watch casually every now and again what i like to watch you know what i mean um, and then because of Gura, I got into the rest of Myth. So Mori, I really uh, drew close to. I, I I think Mori is amazing. I really like Ina as well. I don't dislike. It's not like I just like Yara and Army, but it's like I just like them the least, right? And then like I followed Iris when she debuts. I follow, and the Council Council was really big. I felt really like. Like, I enjoyed when Council came out because, like, I was a part of it, right? That was, like, the first big VTuber thing that I was a part of. Um, and so, I was a big Sana fan. Sana was my number one from Council for the longest time. Sag, it's whatever. Uh, but I still, like, pretty much all the Council. Like, I, lo I love Mume, I love Fauna, I love Crony. And Bay is okay. It's weird that, like, uh, as an Australian, I, I like the Australian the least. But I did like Sana. But, I don't know. Um, and then, obviously, once you're in, like, big into Hololive, you kind of slowly learn about others, and so, I was actually, so, before I was into VTubers, I, I followed Trash Taste, and what was really funny is I remember the Trash Taste episode coming out where they interviewed Callie, Mori Calliope, and I skipped it, because I watched a few minutes, I'm like, oh, this anime girl, but real life, uh, this is kind of cringe, I don't want to watch this, and, and then, of course, a couple months later, I got into Gura, etc., etc., um, but yeah, so I, I was, I always followed Trash Taste because I really liked, uh, Gaunt, and Joey was okay, I didn't, I didn't really like Joey, and I'd watch Connor here and there, but I wasn't the biggest, like, I didn't dislike him, but I just didn't watch much of his content, because it didn't seem as much of me, I, I used to always just be the analytical mind, like, like Gaunt, Gigok is like, you know, video essay critique sort of stuff, and so, that's kind of why I liked, I'm a, am I not a fan of Joey, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really like his his videos too much, and I don't know. He's okay, but I, he's definitely my least favorite of the crew. But that's more for personal reasons. Oh, okay. I fair enough. I I I, I don't know anything bad about him. Like on a personal level, you know, I, I haven't ran in and met the guy just because we're both Australian, right? But um, yeah, it's really funny because Garn was probably my favorite, but now two years later, right, going into the third year of Trash Days, like, Connor, C-Dog VA is, like, number one, I think C-Dog VA carries, like, the back of Trash Days, he blew up, because he was just, he does so much, I don't know how that man has so much energy and time to dedicate to, like, all these different projects, he's just he's built different, um, but, he, like, he does everything, he does so much, it's crazy, it's insane, so he, he I, like, in terms of co amount of content I've watched, I probably watched C-Day, C-Dog VA the most, and through Sea Dog, like I, I think I kind of I knew I knew of Iron Mouse before. Um, if we want to get very abstract, abstractual, Iron Mouse. Okay, well, if we want to get very, very abstractual, the very first clips of VTubers I watched was you know because it's an eye, but like fuck that, that doesn't count. But the actual like first VTuber clip I ever watched that was like I kind of was like, oh, this seems kind of cool and wholesome. Like I understand why you would be like an anime girl like this. And this is before watching Guru or anything. And it was the Iron Mouse clip about, like, getting the funds for her bed. And I, and it was just randomly recommended to me on my YouTube, like, recommended page. And I just clicked on it and watched it. And I was like, holy crap, this is wholesome. I was like, oh, okay. And then I, and I, and then eventually when I got into VTubers, I never, like, forgot. I, I didn't remember that that was Iron Mouse until, like, ages and ages later. I'm like, oh, okay. It's her. <laughs> kind of like brain click realization. So, yeah, I love Mousy. I love Kason. Uh... I was, I, I was kind of ish. I think I was a little late to the party when the, 
wink wink nudge nudge it, like the whole life stuff was happening and 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 uh you know um but then uh, then like when case on like came back basically uh doing her own stuff I, like i, I just kind of jumped on it um and then I, I don't yeah i just didn't really i don't really care about anybody else in v show if i'm being honest like i didn't and yenis is okay yenis is cool Obviously now she's gone. I never watch Veve or Silvervale. I don't care about fruit. Like I have not. I have no opinions on fruits. Okay, I think fruit's cool. I I don't I don't watch fruit. I don't really watch it, and I don't watch Zentraya. But I know some people have very, very extreme opinions on fruits, and I don't fucking care. I don't. I, I don't want to get into it. It's it's just like come on, man. Like as a creator, like I'm not, I'm not offended by her. You know what I mean? So. That's all. The, well, that's all I care about. You know, I feel like people try to cancel each other for stuff that's like in their personal life. It's just dumb. You can't really. You shouldn't really do that. Um. And yeah, I'm not really into Zen. I I get why lots of people like Zen. I'm not into her. Uh, Hime is never around. Doesn't do anything. So there's no reason. Uh, Nazuna speaks Japanese predominantly, so I don't really watch her too much. Anyway, sorry, I, I'm mumbling. So Shy Lily and uh, Mermaider. I don't know who Mermaid is, but Shy Lily is cool. She's all right. I like her. Mom, um, sorry, Mer, Merm tickles like Greek itch for me. Even if sometimes I don't understand what the fuck she says. Fair enough. Not finna Joey, but so, yep. The first I can remember, Rip Partnership. In my fan Vey was way too negative at the time. Shy Lily is always positive. Rip Partnership. Uh, what is this? Robin, semen Demon. Robin, oh, I don't remember this one. No, I'm a demon. I'm a semen demon. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I have seen this before, but it's like, I didn't remember it, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny that she even has, like, the, the generic, like, the built-in, like, stream elements follow, follow things. She had, like, the zombie or whatever. <laughs> like, not even custom ones back then. Um, too negative. Shelly is always positive as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, I also don't want to get into it because, like, there's an argument to be made that all VTubers are somewhat in ter inherently Kuma bait. I fucking hate that word, but whatever. I definitely feel like Veibe and Shy, uh, so not Shy Lily. I mean, you could say about Shy Lily, but I think Shy Lily is actually, like, 100% an extremely talented and, uh, like, amazing person. Like, I think she's a good content creator, but Veibe and, and, uh, and Silver Veil, I think, like, they are very much... I'm not saying they're not talented, but I have a strong assumption that they are more inclined to the male audience, if you catch my drift, right? Um, I hope that I put it as nicely as I could. <laughs> um, but yeah, in terms of independence, I really liked uh, Vividly Vivi. She's an Australian VTuber. Australian radioactive VTuber. Her favorite video game is Fallout New Vegas, which is fucking based. She also used to be, like, very big on the internet before she became a VTuber. Because she did, like, ASMR. And that's how she got popular. Um, uh, hold on, hold on. I'll find a merm clip for you. And she definitely knows what she's doing. Oh, okay, okay. I get you. Wink, wink. Um, yeah, so I love Vivi. Vivi was, like, probably the... Vivi was the first indie I watched. Right, because Holy, obviously, Hololive the Shoujo. I never got into Niji Sanji, by the way. I don't know anybody from Niji Sanji. I get that it's big. It has way too many people for me to care about it. So, I'm just not into Niji Sanji. Like, I don't have anything against them. I hear it's kind of like a shit show right now. It's like a hellfire of like a bunch of crazy stuff that's happening, firing people and not paying them and yada yada. But whatever. I just never got into them. Um. So yeah, Vivi was like my first big independent. Independent. And then I watched another girl, Salty Sawyer. And yes, I never was into ASMR, by the way. I will, like, I want to, like, be honest. I wasn't into it. I thought it was weird. But then it was VTubers that got me into them. And so that's kind of how I found Vivi and and, and Salty Sawyer. As a, she's she's not as big. She's like, I don't think anybody here would know. Like, Vivi, I wouldn't be surprised if some people know. Because uh, she's kind of big. She's, I think she's, like, probably one of the biggest Australian VTubers anyway. Um, not counting like, Hololive, um, and then, yeah, most people wouldn't know Soya, though, Soya is Russian, um, but then, I will, but, so, yeah, it was Vivi, but then, 100%, why I'm sitting here today at fucking 
3, 10 a.m., staring at this blank Fallout New Vegas screen while I'm ranting and raving to one person in my chat. Uh, the main reason why I'm here doing this is because of Hollow Stars English from Hollow Live, and that's a uh, Ness. Uh, I, it's 3 a.m., forgive me. Uh, Vespa Noir, the fucking goat, the fucking Banff, the Chad, the number one of all time. I think Vespa is fucking amazing. I think he. Holy crap. Like, he blew my mind. He was like, oh, I can do this. If this guy, like, like male, I, I, I was, I didn't watch male VTubers. I was like, it's kind of cringe. I'm not, I'm not attracted to men. I'm not going to watch male VTubers kind of thing, right? But then I watch Vespa and I'm like, okay. Okay, I like this. I like this. I can do this. You know, I kind of had that, like, sort of urge. Because, like, I always wanted to be a streamer before, but I never had, like, a good location, a good PC, good desk, set up, etc., etc. Um, but now I do, so pretty much as soon as I got a good location, um, I, I started doing this nonsense, and I started off as a PNG YouTuber, but now here we are, moving around. And I am missing my hat, but one day we'll go live 2D if I somehow have a spare $1,000. It is what it is. Anyway, I should stop ranting and like go play, play the video game or something. Uh, but I like talking, that's the main- I actually prefer streaming talking. But the thing is, you don't get new viewers, really, if you do a just chatting stream, because no one searches the just chatting stream to, like, find new people to watch. You always gotta stream in some category. Who's streaming in this category right now with me? A bunch of people, yeah, there's a, a lot of people who have way more viewers who are doing New Vegas. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm not surprised. <laughs> uh, that's okay. This is a little bit of a quiet stream, but, um, we had a lot of people before on the just chatting, uh, one of the just chatting tier list thing. Back to... Oh, back. Yeah, yeah, you were finding the clip. All rows. Average stream noises. Okay, I need to mute desktop just to be safe. Da -da -da. This is a very odd design. Oh, she's she's been around for a while. Two years, okay. April 19th, 2021. Screaming compilation. And she has very interesting physics. Interesting physics. Just screaming at everything. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. Mo <laughs> hmm. This is very interesting. I'm glad I watched this. No, yeah, I've never heard of um Merm at all. I, I'm not familiar with her. I'm surprised. Uh, she just got an Unreal Engine 3D model. They got bigger. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> um, You're the guy in charge, right? <laughs> very good for you, buddy. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, why is the NCR trying to keep Ranger Station Charlie? Yeah, why is it that important? Where I guess because like it's technically like the closest to the supply line of um, Cottonwood Cove. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what would we be up against? What? I hate this. Goddamn NCR bureaucracy. His name's Beaumont. Has a bureaucracy ring to it. Um, have you seen Milky? Yeah, I, I do know Milky. Milky's a big one that I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen, like, I, I don't watch her, but like, I, I, oh god, I just realized I had the game muted. God damn it, I'm sorry. It's because I was watching the, the, the clip, and it was a saucy clip, I guess, a little bit. Um, Milky v yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, think about this. I'll take the offer, buddy. Good. Here's your signing bonus. Hell yeah, passing caps. This is the situation. I'll hope we with the 20k the I just gave to the orphanage lady. Of known as the Gemini, or twins. Oh god. Yes, They're big personality. Oh, my. <laughs> Titles granted by Caesar himself for their ferocity and cunning. They don't know much else about them. Okay. Not long after the attack on Charlie, so I'm sorry if the dialogue is a little low. I'm pretty sure that's just like the modding. 
which we believe what are you? The twins. Your mission is to reconnoiter the cave, terminate any Legion personnel present, and kill the twins. Okay, that sounds easy. One more thing, though. You might have surmised that this is rather personal. Yeah, they did kill all your friends and family here. want the Legion to know who is responsible. Okay. Take this note. And pin it on a prominent place after you <laughs> The NCR was here, bitch. Oh my god. That's it. Do you have any questions before setting off? Um, what does this note say? Yeah, tell me what it reads in Latin. My translation's a little rough, but I think it means enemies and friends, <laughs> I fucked them all in full. Uh, interesting. Only the Legion will get excited by that. Okay. Uh, what's the enemy's strength? Yeah, what, what are the numbers, buddy? I'm not entirely sure. It's almost certainly one of their underground complexes. Probably okay. Probably booby trap to hell. So okay. Mines and bear traps, as usual. Lightly armored, fast moving raiding parties. You shouldn't encounter heavy infantry or veterans. Mm hmm. Uh, why am I going in alone? Why not take a platoon of rangers and track them down? Okay, well, main character me talking to you. Yes, that's stupid. They just all get themselves killed. Have you ever tracked a Legion party in the desert? Yeah. With their conditioning, discipline, but also, like, if it's a cave, get cave in. You know, it's easier to pick off a big group than. Running, just one guy. Hiding, waiting for a mismatch. Yeah. Then they strike fast and disappear. Yep. Did it. Nelson did it here. Very true, very true. The surest way to beat them is to pin them down in an open battle where our firepower and tactical flexibility can fuck them up. Like at the dam. Uh huh. I could call in a company of infantry. But they'd sniff them out a mile away. We'd be out of there in minutes. Mm. One skilled operator is perfect. If you pull this off right, it should draw them into attack and charge. Except this time, we'll be waiting for Okay. Uh, should an opportunity arise, do you want me to take prisoners? Yeah, if I can not kill people. I don't know how... A fiends, it makes more sense to, like, try and better them and turn them back into civilized uh, individuals of society. But the Legion is a lot harder, because... I don't know, everybody is inherently a tribal of some degree... But I mean, if they they gave up their identity once, maybe they'll give it up their identity a second time and join the NCR. Who knows? We ain't in the prisoner taking business. Uh, uh, we in the killing. League. It's not good to say that and have that mindset, bro. If someone like surrenders, you should be able to be like, okay, we'll take you as a prisoner. You know what I mean? It's kind of messed up to be like, no, no, no prisoners at all. No, not even one. Um, yeah, I'm good to go. Good luck, I prefer mailman, but fair enough. Okay, fucking edgelord. Make him bleed. <laughs> Make him bleed for me, bro. Why don't you just go on and Take do it? Oh. I'd like a minute of your time. Kostler. Uh, what do you want, buddy? I'll be brief. I work for an unnamed agency within the NCR. Fucking and I'm knock your an microphone. investigation into Ranger Beaumont. There are a lot of questions surrounding the Legion attack here, and my superiors are concerned about okay. Beaumont's ability to command. He seems like a good guy. Leave him alone. Grass want to scapegoat Beaumont for what happened. Oh. While others want to take a hard look at him first, see if it's justified. And... As an outsider, you're a bit more objective than the Rangers or other troops. Okay. I'd like for you to check in with me after the mission is finished. Okay. I want the facts, as well as your own evaluation. Is he a capable leader? Does he seem mentally stable? I mean, I do think he is. is. Following commands instructions. He is. Just talk to me when the dust settles. Okay. Let me know how he held up. If you can do that, there's a bonus waiting for you. Okay. All I need is information, and you get paid. It's as simple as that. Can I count on you? What's your story, man? D tell me a little bit about yourself before I agree to anything. I'm an employee of the NCR. Oh my god. That's all you need to know. And I deliver mail, but that doesn't describe who I am as a person. This guy fucking fucked this guy, man. This sounds sus as fuck. Sheesh. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, um, I mean, I guess, I guess... Kill legionaries and get paid for it? Oh. What's not to like? Oh, uh, thanks for that little tidbit, Russell. Um... Uh, I'll think about it? That's fine. Okay. Just see me up in Novak after the operation. Okay. Good luck out there. Yeah, I don't want to commit to it, but it's like... Yeah. 
Because I don't know who this guy is. This guy seems kind of sus. Anyway, Russell, you're good to go, buddy. Um, okay, yeah, kill the twins. And they're up here. Near the wrecked highwayman. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I think we just... Let's just... Like, can you even... We can walk there, right? Okay, we can. Cool. I don't think mountains will get in the way. Oh, God. We're already in a fight. Oh. oh. Speaking about Legion. Yay. Get wrecked, loser. Good job. Good job, Rexy and uh, Guts. Nice. Hell yeah. What are you guys doing here so close to the freaking Ranger Station, Charlie? You're literally asking to be killed. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know why I always take uh, throwing spears to sell. I just think it's something I like to sell. I never pick up like weapons to sell. But no throwing spears, my brain can justify. Okay. I don't think I ever go this way because I usually like sticking to the roads, right? So. I don't think I've ever walked this path. And there's like never any really... Like, yeah, I would either go up this way to go to Charlie and the Novak or... No! I don't think I ever go this road, actually. I probably walked down from Novak and went to these locations. Yeah, I never go up from Searchlight because I don't... Like, why would I go up from Searchlight? Why would I go through Searchlight to get to Novak? That's just stupid. Oh, is this it? Sharp's Cavern. This is it. Uh, tunnel to Sharp's Cavern. Okay. Down we go. Oh, God. Okay. Well, he's dead. Um... That was an explosion and a half. Oh my god, you guys, please stop. Oh. Oh, you're okay. a bad dog. I thought that was, like, the good dog. <laughs> Our dog. Where do we need to go? Uh, we're working out. Uh, dog meat. Okay, um... We can open this way. Locked hard. Okay, so I'm assuming, like, this is the easy way to go through, maybe? I'm not sure. Let's just open it for now. Why not? go but let's go up first okay also I should be careful with like explosions oh giant rat a lot of giant rats oh there it is god damn it let me break it please I hate the collision on these I, I there we go like, to deactivate the tripwires? Oh, God. Like, right there. Maybe I should have... Which one of my, my dogs, like, walk past me and break it? See, like, how do you... Oh, my God. What? It's just gonna kill me. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Amazing. <laughs> I was trying to jump over it to see if I could, like, deactivate it better from the other side, but... Uh, it is what it is. Okay, so please jump. Oh, it, like, you can't jump over it. It's like, there we go. Cool. Now, you guys don't break it, thankfully. Th this is what I mean. There we go. So we can... There we go. Thank God. Uh, you can take the, um, grenades off, can't you? I don't see them, though. I know I can very rarely ever, like... <laughs> Find the grenades above you. Oh, there's another one immediately already here. Cool. Oh. Maybe it's the broken line. Wait, don't give rid of this. I don't want this. There we go. I hate this. Like, how am I supposed to... Hey. <laughs> 
the the like collision tri like trigger box for it is just so stupid. It's okay. It's okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! That just like triggered instantly. That's stupid. Okay. Um, was there a mine here that that no? Okay. There are like. Hmm. Is it usually okay? That was close. But we're good. We're good. Oh my god. Shut up with your Kaiser nonsense. Goodbye. Hello. Ain't this a bitch? I knew it. Oh Jesus. Uh... Oh my god, really? Okay. We good. We good. Uh... Oh god, there's a lot, actually. Um... I'm gonna just let everybody else handle it. You know what? That's fine. Good job, doggies. Hell yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Don't need to do any of the work. Um, uh, why do they have a beret here? Fair enough. Drop this bag. Oh, what the heck were they doing here? Jesus. I'll take all of this. Sheesh. I don't need a pencil there. Oh, I did not need the 9mm. <laughs> what are they doing to this guy? They just laid him out. It's so weird. Duffel bag, something in them. Uh, Anti venom, I guess we'll take to sell. Bumper sword. Classic Legion weapon. If this guy is dead in a little tiny bit. Auto axe. Interesting. Okay, they're training dummies. Very interesting. Uh, average gates. Nice. Um, these are just. NCRs that are dead, unfortunately. Why is it locked though? I get oh, because like they're slaves. That's how they were locked in. Or I, I guess they locked them in with a dog and made them fight the dog. That's my guess, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, let's double check up here. This guy we will loot, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to take. I hate that. Like, oh no, I'm stealing from the evil. Frickin' Legion. Hello, Wolf. Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Welcome. It's a very, uh, late early stream for me. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. Do we have to go down here? Yeah, we do have to go down here. Which I would prefer not to. Um, more just generic NCR. Fair enough. Um, let's go, th let's explore this way first, before we go down that way. Machete, bullets, cases, boop, boop, boop. Wonderful, wonderful, we also have this we can unlock. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh god, we haven't saved. Oh my, I'm an idiot. <sighs> what? That guy was just cooking, or chopping up, chopping up something.
I like how I hit every shot before the save, but now I'm like, crap. I don't, again, I don't need to do any of the work. I'll just let everybody else do it. Also, how low are we on ammo? Oh, incredibly low. I see. Goodbye. What the fuck was that? You guys okay? Jesus. I don't want to go... Oh. Who is still around here? Nobody. Everybody is dead. Okay. I don't have to, like, go looting again. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's just try doing this, but not get the slaves killed. <laughs> It's like down here if it's nope it's a different okay yay boop wonderful i didn't get you guys killed this time isn't that awesome uh and league agents have found the safest for transportation ropes to dig into the wrists on time i'm so sorry i blew you guys up in an alternate timeline there you go nice What what did we miss? What did we miss that was blowing up? What? Nunny? What the fuck is... What did we miss? Like, there's got to be mines around here somewhere. What? Oni-chan? <laughs> what do you want about? Oof. Um... Uh, you know what? I'm going to do some saucy stuff. <laughs> what do you want about wolf? Inter inter yeah, what is this? Yoink. I'm taking you now. Do not do not look, everybody. Do not look at the saucy stuff. There we go. I now have a tin plate. But I had to have a tin plate because I have no idea. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay, well, I found the source of the explosion. It appears to be a... Four chan? What do you want about Wolf? <laughs> You're in a very weird mood. Uh, Onichan four chan? Four chan stop? <laughs> um. Okay, so that's a fat man. Fat mine mad bomber. Okay. Now, originally it was underneath a rat, but we are good now, right? Please tell me we're all not dead. I see. So that was what was so big and exploded. Body pillows? Hmm. Okay. Now, surely you guys are safe. Well, let's just... Yeah, I know there's a bunch of, like, dead people that I can loot. I didn't want to loot it again. Now that we're in this alternate timeline. But I guess I will loot anyway. Okay. Uh, there's literally nothing in any of these, but thank you. There you go. There you. We can take all of this. Cool, cool. Um. Don't want any of that. Don't want any of that. Did we loot this guy up here? We did. We did. Cool. Okay, and then yeah, we can take a bunch of stuff here. That's stealing. It's not stealing from you guys. Haha. <laughs> very nice, very nice. I don't know why we took the beret, but whatever. Nothing, nothing. Take that. And then definitely take all of this. I feel bad kind of just taking NCR stuff, but... I mean, they're dead, right? May as well take them, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, very good. Portion. Hmm. Apparently there's someone still around. Oh, yeah, I see him kind of very vaguely in the distance. On the compass. Vaguely on the compass. Um. Okay, we didn't loot you. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. Let's save in case we run into any more goddamn... Uh, mines. I don't understand the fuss over sunsets, Asperilla. Yeah, okay, buddy. Okay, Russell, we get it. You're, you're so cool and edgy, you don't need the goddamn sunsets, Asperilla. Okay, we can't take any of this because it's all stealing. Okay, I'll be back, guys. I want to go the other locked way. Maybe there's some loot there. Who knows? Da 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 da. Wah 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, this way. Cool, yep. Yeah. Now, be a little careful because we're probably gonna hit another tripwire. You were dead. I don't know how you were dead, but you were dead. You were also dead for being an idiot and standing still. There were ghouls down here? What? Okay, thank god, I thought that was a mine. <laughs> yeah, there's ghouls down here, that's so weird. A dead slave, Jesus. Their AI is definitely broken, which is fine by me. Makes things easier. <laughs> that's the way, so let's go back up this way. For all we know, this takes us back to where we just were. It literally does take us exactly back to where we were. I see that you could, like, avoid, um... You could definitely avoid, like, um... That whole fight. But it's more fun to do it this way. Tie. Use are all safe. Use are all safe. You run back to the exit. Yeah, use are good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And there's no fat man in a... Frickin' this. <laughs> Since when did the- how would the Legion know to make a fat man mine? Like, that's just stupid. Your hunger level has increased. Oh no. Me every hour. <laughs> no, not really. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Yeah, they're running up. They're getting out. That's actually really wholesome. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So, let's continue our way. Oh, through the little shacky place. Where is it? Here it is. Cool, yeah. Centurion's Shack. Fool. <laughs> Sick, bruh. Not sure where the other one is. Oh. Hey, that's a badass painting. <laughs> oh man, I love some of these Russell lands. I leave the note in a prominent pay. Oh, examine painting. Ah, I see. This is the fine uh, reprint of a magnificent pre-war painting. It would be an excellent spot to pin Bowman's note. Pin the note. Take this. Okay, stealing everything else would be bad, though. I see. Um, you have anything good on you, buddy? Move out of the way, guts. E, nothing, nothing. Uh, e, nothing. Helmets, yada, yada. Uh... Hopefully, I'm assuming he was doing sussy things. I'm tired. You can leave. So we have a key now. I wonder what the key's for. I don't really see any, like... Oh, use key. Here we go. It's 30 coins. I don't like stealing, but... If it's to get 30 coins, why not? Same with this one. You can sell them for some good money. Like a casino or something. He doesn't have any, like, secrets, uh... Ugh, safes? No. Awesome. Read notes. Uh, nec amicus officum nec hostis iterium mihi intolt qui intot uh, intoto non redidi. I butchered that, and I do not care. Uh, miscellaneous. Uh, Adium pictora. Uh, Pollux SPD Castoria. Freighter, we were doubtless blessed by Caesar when he gifted us this grand painting. 
but the bulbous flaying figures seem overwhelmingly grotesque at times. Caesar said it was a depiction of our namesakes in action, ravaging some corpulent tribals in a distant land. He said it was made by a man named Rubens, okay, who apparently enjoyed depicting these monstrous cows and then calling it art. Interesting, I have noticed that great Caesar favors slave girls with girth and fleshy backsides. So, uh, this one is, like, obviously not canon, but I that would be really saucy if Caesar was into any slave girls at all. Small wonder he gravitated towards the work of this pre-war profligate. Regardless, I recommend we display with pride, should he or the legate make a chance inspection on, of the cave. Worse yet, these damn uh, speculators always seem to be afoot, watching our every move. A raiding party reported that NCR's real compared Charlie. This could be a stubborn ploy to save face or some species of shallow... Uh, stratagem. We will watch them closely. Fortunately, our patrols are garnering a bevy of captured and killed profligates, along with a constant flow of seized supplies and armament. In time, we will win. Fortune smiles on us, brother. S V B E E V. <laughs> very epic, my guy. Very epic. Coolio. Um. Da -da 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 -da. I think I'm just gonna end the stream here. I just wanted to do a little extra stream. But yeah, it's a f it feels like no one. Is really come by, which is fine. I don't expect everyone to always be here at the time, but um, it is very late, and uh, I did just want to play a little bit of New Vegas to have fun to like break it from the just chatting tier list stream. But yeah, whoever is here, I hope you all have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, or night, wherever, whenever the world you are. I've been the mailman, and uh, I am signing out. Goodbye.